Alright, folks. Let me see. Yeah, it goes. Let's run. Alright. Howdy, folks. I'm Cody. Here with Ironverse Cox. Doing another Ironverse Cox mail day. Yeah, look at that. Got three interesting packages. Uh, both of these, I know what they're, they are. This one? This one, I'm not so sure. So we'll see if this is uh, even going to be able to go up. Might have to cut out that one. But uh, we'll see. We'll see. So, let's start up here. This one I've been waiting for for a while. I checked out the first issue on the channel. Uh, so after you see this, and if it looks interesting, go ahead and check that out if you need more convincing to back this wonderful creator. But uh, let me go ahead and get something to open this, and then uh, I'll be right back with you. So, so I've always been a big fan. Uh, one of the things that really made this creator stick out to me was this delivery. Giant cassette tape boxes. I think they're awesome. <laughs> the virginity hyper surge neon falcon um they're demo tapes right um the first one was a beautiful purple box this i like it's very edgy it's heavy i don't even know what the cover's gonna look like folks so i'm really excited to open this up and uh, let's check it out this is okay no it opens it opens there it goes just that's a good box and we got this nice little Hello, Patty. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, and we got our stickers. Uh, the first one. Oh, there's something. Is that a standee in there, too? No, oh, it's a standee, period. Oh, fuck. I didn't think I got a standee. Um, this is from my man, Aki T. That's the artist. And this is Aerith. Um, I love it. You can tell right there, too. Oh. Uh, look at that. I'm gonna have to check that out here in a second. Too. I'll open that up. Let's let's take a look at what what I was getting. Ooh, that pin, 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 pin. I like my pins. I like my swag. So let's take a second here. Let me. Oh, it is upside down, so I don't know what they are until you folks see them as well. Kablam! Oh, oh, sweet. So this is extra stuff. Maybe an ash can or something. What? I got this is there's a lot of stuff here. <laughs> Holy hell! Like a lot. I think yeah, it looks like an ash can. And then the main event. Oh, sexy, sexy, sexy. Look at that. Uh, if it'll let me see if I go to a face. This camera's pretty, pretty shit. There it goes. But look at that. I love the spot. Uh, gold there. Fucking super 80s. I'm so excited. Square bound. Square bound, folks. That's nice. Oh, that's nice. Can't wait to check this out. I really like the first issue. It was just set up, though, right? So I, I, I want to get... I, I want to see what where it's going. So expect an Ironverse Quickies on this as soon as I can get to it. But, man, let's get some of the glare, at least where it needs to be, instead of on the art. Oh, that looks so cool. All right, let's check out some of this other stuff as well. But, man, ah, great delivery. Great delivery. So we got a little postcard, a little note. Oh, it's a little Polaroid. It's a fake, maybe even a real Polaroid, but oh, that's so cool. Oh, that was a neat little extra. I like that. All right, and then bookmark, I'm guessing, which I would totally use. No, it's a patch. It's a patch, but it can be used as a bookmark if you'd like because it's uh, soft enough. I'll probably use it as a bookmark, but it's a patch. Dope for the double rainbow death punch game. And of course, double rainbow death punch sticker. Very cool. And let's put together the standy real quick. Oh, it's double sided. And it just goes in here, like so. Oh, it gets in there tight, which is good. And we have Sandy. This is my first comic book standy. Let me see if it'll. There you go. From my man Aki T's art. That's very cool. I'm stoked to have this. I really like that. That's a neat, neat bunch of extras here, folks. And yes, this was an ash can. It was a, what they're calling mini series. Right here. Got my man Steve Cannon in there on something. Uh, obviously coloring, but I'm not sure what because the cover certainly is not his colors as far as I can tell. Unless I am wrong. Um, yeah. Oh, man. So we've got some things to check out here. 
Ah, that was excellent. Yeah, that was that was a very cool thing. So I'm excited for this next one though. Probably one of my favorite indie comic book series as well. Um, I'm a, I mean, Aerith here was. But um, these guys have consistently delivered for quite some time. You know my folks over here at Iconic Comics. Um, some of the best just indie storytelling. Um, and that, that's everything involved in sequential art, artistry, and, and sequential storytelling. Um, just consistent releases. And I think this was their biggest release yet, which means I believe they've been growing every time. Um, so let's check out. I believe this is uh, some common America. Let's let's look at. It. It's nice. I'm getting a lot of postcards around Christmas. It's nice. Uh -huh. Wonderful. Thank you. As always, they're actually all up on my fridge. Here's your discount code if folks want to go check them out on their website and just order from them directly instead of the must and fuss of a campaign. Very cool. And then the main event. Padding, more padding, a little trading card, Miss Common Common, to go with, uh, I had Hair Trigger, I think, last time, and then the Eric Canate, uh, Canite, Canete, uh, Canete, uh, I, I wish I knew how to pronounce his name better, because I just, I, I adore his art, very cool, for their next series that's coming up through Iconic Comics, Arc Athena, I think that's actually delivering right now, the first issue, so, uh, if you missed out, it'll probably be up on Iconic Comics here soon. And I recommend checking it out. I love his art style. Now, let's look at this baby. The up, the, they've been doing really nice hardcovers for the last couple of releases. They tried a couple different things with their Black Ops runs and different things. I think this is what they landed on, which I really appreciate. It's great quality. It feels good. It looks really nice. And um, their usual format. But I can't wait to dive into it. I... For consistent releases, I don't think anybody keeps up with these guys in crowdfunding. And there's so many benefits to that. But as a reader, uh, the main benefit is you're always being able to engage with these characters, right? And the best part is you really, really want to. Um, the writing is tight. The characterization is beautiful. And I just I, I want to see where they're going. We finally got the, the team assembled, kind of. Um, the crossover, I believe, was the last one, where it was cross uh, um, Black Hops. So they set up the uh, the villains are starting to kind of up the ante. I'm super excited. I don't know if I've done any quickies in Common America. I might actually have to do a bigger, longer form video on everything. Um, but I'm so excited to read this. Beautiful presentation. Look at that. Nice, solid prestige that'll last, uh, prestige format that'll last a while. Um, just gorgeous, just gorgeous. Very jealous of what these people are able to do and um, inspired by what these people are able to do. It's just just wonderful, wonderful, wonderful creators and uh, storytelling. So there's that one. Uh, super, I got some good reads. I got some damn good reads in I've been waiting to uh, get to. Uh, I've been waiting for it. And not for very long, but uh, man, it's just good timing. I needed stuff to read. So there's Common America and the stuff that it came with. Just some very nice little prints. And then let's check out the thing I I don't know what's in here. So uh, if the video cuts right here, I'll put like some message or something at the end and tell you what it was, if there was something stupid in there or whatever. Uh, and if you don't hear from me, <laughs> I love you all. No, uh, <laughs> we'll see. I don't know. I, I've got an idea who's this from, but the problem was uh, that's not on the box, right? Um, so I don't know. If, if I'm being honest, I have, I have no idea who this is from uh, until I, I actually look through it. Um, by the contents, I'll be able to tell for sure if it's uh, who I think. I did ask them, but they hadn't gotten back to me by the time I wanted to do this video. So here we are. Uh, we'll see. I'm cutting open. All right, here we go. I have no idea what's in here. No idea. Oh! Okay! Okay, okay. I think I do know what this is now. Never mind. Never mind. Oh! Okay. Phew. 
So I did. I this is my so this is worth talking about, and it is comic related, which is great. This is my favorite bags and boards. I haven't come across any that are as nice and how they handle. So instead of being designed to put tape on the back of the bag, right, to, to seal it, these are designed to fold in. And they're really nice and thick and sturdy. And so the folding in is just um, uh, uh, just beautiful. And they do it really well. So let me uh, show you. Looks like they sent me the boards for free, too, because I just ordered the bags. It's really nice. I tried to order these. Um, so it's only off of eBay. Um, that I've been able to find these bags of boards. Uh, you can see how they're cut at the top there, angled. They're for folding in, which I would be way better than having an adhesive possibly attached to the board. Why just for the beep there? I don't know who, who or what that's from. I'll check that out. Is there anything? No. So these guys are uh, big fudge, uh, big fudge bags. They do um, all kinds of like. Uh, um, collection preserving stuff so like for records or for uh, all kinds of different things including comic books these guys my favorite boards they're really really tough and that's what i love about them besides the fact that they're designed so you don't have to use adhesive um just so good, just so good. i don't know who else uh, does this you can see uh, right there made in china uh so <laughs> my guess is um, they liked this out to somebody in China and then they were just waiting for them to come in. But I ordered these, God, months and months ago because uh, they were also like some of the best prices on comic bags. So it's, it's just it's, – it's all around my favorite comic bags. They're, they're cheap and they're really high quality. Uh, it's just excellent. Um, but I had placed an order and they accepted it, but they were out. And so he had to refund me back. And then as soon as they came back in, the seller messaged me and let me know, hey, these are back in. Uh, I'll give you a discount code. The price went up a little bit, but here's a discount code for what you ordered for them before. And, uh, boom, we got them. And, and they fucking sent me boards, too, which I did not order. I did not order the big fudge boards at all. In fact, I have a bunch of comic boards. <laughs> but uh, obviously these will fit with them. Uh, ah, man, really cool. So that's cool. I, I didn't, ex I didn't know what this was. So there's a good chance that. that Anybody let me know? No, that's not what I sent you. <laughs> but yeah, folks, good comic book related stuff. I didn't know this last one would be comic book related or not. I get that screw out of there. <laughs> screw on my table. So we got Common America. We got big fudge bag and boards. We got Aerith. Now, let me get that. Common America. Aerith Standy. First Standy. I didn't, I didn't think my order came with it. It might have been a stretch goal. Uh, Big Fudge. Todd Boy and Mox as the extra ash can attachment to Aerith Killing War. Kentolin War, Cantolin War. I still, <laughs> you'll 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 hear that in my first uh, Irish quickies on this series. Um, <laughs> I still don't know exactly how that should be pronounced. And then the extra awesome, uh, good mail day for me, uh, you folks. I recommend checking all of this stuff out. Again, favorite bags and boards, man. Nothing's come close. Uh, everything else, I mean, these don't tear at the seams like some do. You don't have to use adhesive to close them. They don't come with adhesive. Um, just excellent. Super excited for this 80s glam rock tail. Um, good slice of Americana right here, which is very hard to find these days. And honest, not, not, not propaganda Americana, which there's, there's some things that walk that line that are out. It's just not my favorite. Um, and, uh. Man, good stuff. Good stuff. Thank you for uh, joining me on this uh, mail day, and I will catch you folks later on. Take care.